Hi, folks. This is Brian Anderson. I'm with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. You take a look at the Suns. It seems like the longer this streak goes, the tougher they are to beat. They are playing some inspired basketball lately. There are a lot of things going on besides their execution as this group seems to be coming together. And we should see a lot of guys jousting for position in this one. Brent, we've got two teams that can rebound with the best of them. Yeah, when you have a physical game like this, B.A., the one worry is, is there going to be a lot of fouls? Because you don't want any of these guys out of the game with the way they control the glass. Now here's Paul. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. And he comes up with a bucket. Yeah, if Aiden can get in that kind of position, he could be a bully on the inside. Smart outside. Right side Brown. Pass to Horford. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. And stolen by Williams. The kick to Tatum. Williams in the post. Second shot opportunity. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. He's off on the second. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. Outside Paul. Pass to Okogi. Just five on the clock. The three, Durant. Gets the three ball to go. Well, with that high release and that length, when KD takes a three, if you're the defender, you're pretty much just hoping he misses. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Tatum from long range. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. Boston, no good that time either. You know, versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. Smart for three. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Outside Durant. Pass to Okogi. Here's Aiden. Williams defending. Here's a three from Paul. Smart grabs a miss. Austin trailing. Inside. Can they get it? Brown inside. He had 25 points in his last game. Tatum from long range. And it's good. First made shot in four attempts. There's no lack of confidence in Tatum when it comes to his three-point shot. He's looking to do damage from long range on every possession. He drops it from range. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now Brogdon. Checking the numbers, he's averaging close to 15 a game. Williams with the screen. Outside White. High post Muscala. Shot clock at two. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up, an opportunity at a three-point play. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. They grab their own miss. 
He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid straight up and in.